Okay guys, now I'm just going to show you another method for doing the unit conversion using the same tool, okay? People get confused about bunny hops. Now I would have liked to have drawn a rabbit, but oh, I'm really not much chop and people are going to give me a hard enough time over this. So, what we're going to do is by simply moving the decimal point, okay? Now, to move it in either direction, people get confused which way to go, okay? So, starting unit, going to a smaller unit, you go in the direction of this arrow. That's why I've actually set this tool up this, in this direction, okay? So, just as an example of that, why don't we take it where we have a start unit, let's say 20 milligrams, just as an arbitrary thing. Okay, now we want to know what that is in micrograms. Okay, so that's going to be to the right. Okay, so MCG or in the real science world, micro, or going to the left. We're going to be going from our base. Let me just outline that as your starting unit. Going to the bigger unit of grams. Okay, so if we're going to be going in this direction, we're going to be bunny hopping in the direction that I show here. So we start out with 20. We're going to be doing three jumps. Okay, so 20 is the same as 20.000 goes on to infinity, okay? Just keeps on going, all right? So to get 20 milligrams into micrograms, we're going to be bunny jumping three spaces. So that decimal point will now shift. If we were to multiply 20 by 10, it would become 200. That's equivalent to one bunny jump because that's a multiplier by 10. We go a second bunny jump because that's another multiplier by 10 goes from 20 to 200 to 2,000. One more jump, because it's three jumps, being there's three zeros in a 1,000. So that's done three jumps from 20 to now become 20,000. And that's where our point ends up. Okay, so you could call that 20,000. And that will be in micrograms because you always have to put down your units. Alrighty, so if multiplying by a thousand you're going to go in the direction shown in this tool so if multiplying it's going to the right. Easy way to double check that is when you're moving to the right the numbers getting much bigger. Okay, ten times per jump. That's the decimal system. Okay, now 20 micrograms, converting that over to 20 grams. Okay, so we've got 20 micrograms. Now this is going to be divided by a thousand. So we're going to be bunny jumping over to the left. Now, just because you don't see the zeros in front of there doesn't mean that they don't exist, or though that's a bit of a quandary how something that is zero exists. But let's just imagine we've got these zeros out the front. Okay, it's still 20. That number is still 20. It doesn't matter where the zeros are. Okay, so long as it's not in between the two and a decimal point. Okay, just keeping in mind there is a decimal point there. Okay, 20 micrograms. Now we're dividing by a thousand. So we're going to go three steps to the left. One, two, three. Okay. So if we don't worry about these extra zeros out the front there, that becomes 0 0.020, okay? And that will be in grams. All right, so if you've got the bigger unit, which is grams compared to the start unit, we're going to be going to the left. So three jumps to the left. If we have our start unit, to become a smaller unit, then we're going to be doing three jumps 
to the right. So that you can look at something which looks complicated on your sheet and you can just automatically go bang, 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 across it comes. Uh, giving you an example, let's say we have, um, oh, just I'll make up a value of 125 milligrams. Now, because I would have practiced this over and over, and I would have done it longhand, I would have written down my tool so that I can keep my head straight, okay, because you wait, you develop your technique first before you develop your speed. Once you have that speed, you go, okay, I've got 125 milligrams. I know that if I'm converting that over to grams, I'm going to go three jumps, so I can immediately write down 0 0.125 grams. Okay, if I was going to go the other way, then that would be 125000 micrograms. Okay, so no, I'll write that as MCG just to keep you guys happy. Alrighty, because in my head I can go one, two, three, okay, to give me that. Or in my head I go, well, it's just the same as adding three zeros. So I go bang, bang, bang in my head now. I do it visually and I just write down the answer, okay? So that's how the quick way is eventually. Start it off, develop your skills, write down the tool. That way you're not going to be making silly mistakes. Um, exams are won and lost on silly mistakes. That's why if you do get to finish, you check it once, you check it twice. Okay? So that way you can pick up where you've made some real blunders and you'll be kicking yourself afterwards. Okay? So identify what your starting unit is and whether you're going smaller or whether you're going bigger and use that direction. Okay, simple, eh? Practice, practice, practice. Maths is all about practice. Okay, thanks for that.